Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how we can set OpenNI in Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. First you have to uh, create an empty project and give a name. For example, OpenNI let's go test. I already created a project here and you have to add an empty uh, CPP file and namely uh, openni underscore test and copy uh, an example file from openni folder. Samples uh, I used ni viewer, uh, not this ni symbol viewer, yes, and I open this. Uh, CPP file and just copy paste it to uh, here and uh, uh, after that you have to set the uh, linker variable uh, include directories etc uh, I will show you how uh, First, you have to set the include a directory here. Uh, I already set the included directories. Uh, we need two two things: open and I include and uh, and gl directory. I will show you. First, you have to take the environment variable. So after installing open and I. The environment variable is automatically set. See, open and I bin, open and I include, open and I inst, and open and I leave. We want open and I leave and open and I uh, include. So just uh, include this variable in Visual Studio like this. And uh, in a nice simple viewer, uh, Actually, uh, it requires GL headers, GL libraries. So, better is to copy uh, these GL folders, GL libs to our uh, our uh, project directory. Also, copy a data folder. Data folder, uh, it, it is placed in, uh, yeah. Open a data. It contains some uh, configuration XML file and license file. So better should copy this data file into here. And after doing that, uh, you have to include uh, the path of GL headers. Uh, this is a path. This is a path. Others connect. Open a night test. The headers are GL and GLH and lib contain glut32.lib. So include that. Then in the linker entry, you have to uh, enter uh, the bin release folder that is optional for getting uh, glut32.dll. Uh, otherwise, you can set it in environment variables. That's also fine. So properties uh, in path path you can now uh, include the bin release folder uh, and the GL GL lib for getting the glad 32 and uh, then the open and lib then the input you have to enter open dot lib plus 32 dot lib and in the source code you need a minor change like now we copied the data folder into uh, into this path so the executable is placed in this path so uh, you need to change that into dot dot slash data uh, slash sample config 
then the the mod of uh, mod of build is release and just build. It's already built and we can open that. Yes, it's working. That's all for now. Thank you, guys.